What's up? It's Fit Nerd from Superheroes Ultimate. And I just saw the Batman. Was the hype behind this movie real? This movie has had so much hype over the last, not just one year, two years. No need to worry, this is a non-spoiler review. What Matt Reeves did in this film is delivering us a Batman that quite possibly is one of the most rawest forms of the character ever seen on live action. To the raw fighting sequences, and I'll admit, at the beginning when I saw Robert Pattinson to be casted as Bruce Wayne as Batman, I wasn't entirely sure. Coming into this film, not really expecting it to be like any other batman i just wanted it a batman of its own and that's exactly what this movie did it was to deliver us a batman of its own the best way that i could describe it as a batman fan is it's year one meets long halloween meets arkham knight all meshed up into one and although this was centered around obviously the batman the performances by our villains our rogues gallery gave us almost the perfect chemistry zoe kravitz performance as the Catwoman. at times it almost felt like she actually stole the show every time she was on screen all i could see was Selena Kyle. For the first time, I only felt like I saw not just the Catwoman, but I saw Selena Kyle. And almost in a poetic way, how she is the complete opposite to the Batman. Paul Dano's performance as the Riddler is simply bone chilling and perfectly showing as an intellectual supervillain that really brought out the world's greatest detective. Colin Farrell as the Penguin is simply undeniable as the best performance within this movie. He did such an amazing job with the character of the Penguin that every time I saw him, I never saw Colin Farrell. And of course, I can't leave out Jeffrey Wright's performance as the commissioner. To what I can say, it is the purest form of what the definition of a true bro is. And it's almost as if they took the 1989 Batman fans and gave us an even closer look at a harder, grittier Batman that we all wanted to see back in 1989. A lot of us that were fans will catch a lot of the 1989 nods from the Tim Burton's Batman. This really was the truest portrayal trail of the Cape Crusader as the world's greatest detective on the big screen. With gritty, groundbreaking, psychological twists left and right. Hey Matt Reeves, more Batman Rose Gallery please. Welcome to the Batmanverse. Highly recommend you guys watch this in the IMAX. Get out there and watch this movie this weekend. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. T-shirts, tank tops, mugs, totes, stickers, face masks, and so much more. So if you want to check out some of our latest official merch, take a look right below the video. Until next, super fans, this is Fit Nerd. Over and out.